After roaming the world for the New York Times, Roy Reed has found home at the Wheel of a Tractor in Hog Eye, Arkansas. When I left Arkansas as a young man, I, I supposed okay. that I'd never come back. Come on. I think young people tend to, to believe that once they leave home, that's the end of it. But I was fed up with airport terminals and rental cars and bad food and, and that sort of thing and, and big cities. But I suspect there's more to it than that. I, I, but it finally, it's not what you're running away from, it's what you're going home to. Do you ever feel like you're at the end of the world down here in Hog Eye, Arkansas? Yeah, that's what I like about it. When I was traveling for the newspaper, I always, I spent a lot of my time looking for the end of the world. And, uh, because the best stories are at the, uh, at the end of the world. Yeah, uh, I, I do. It's, uh, but of course it's not, really. Uh. <laughs> for 14 years, Roy Reed reported for the New York Times. He covered the civil rights movement in the South. I saw a lot of heartbreaking history, I guess, as uh, people whose lives have been challenged and, and changed for all time. From Selma, Alabama to Washington, D.C. and the Lyndon Johnson administration, and then on to London to cover turmoil on the streets of Northern Ireland. It's never as bad in the middle of the dangerous place as it, as it appears to be from the outside looking in. It's never as bad as your mother thinks it is. Roy and his wife Norma moved to Hog Eye eight years ago. They built a contemporary home, a comfortable place, he says, to read the New York Times and write occasional articles for his old newspaper and other national publications. The dateline Hog Eye, Arkansas is hard for editors to resist. I don't think I ever once offered a story with a Hog Eye dateline that wasn't accepted. <laughs> he compiled his stories into a book looking for Hog Eye. Besides reporting to the nation about goings on in Hog Eye, Arkansas, he tells students about journalism at the University of Arkansas in nearby Fayetteville. He leans over and looks me right in the eye and says, I don't want to see this in the New York Times. He remembers London, New York, Washington, D.C., and he says he will return. But for now, Hog Eye, Arkansas is his dateline. And writing, teaching, and farming fill the times of Roy Reed. Ed Tomer, KY3 Action News, Hog Eye, Arkansas.